Hey, what is up millionaires? Mitch Durfee here. In this video, I want to show you how you can live stream your videos to YouTube using a program called OBS. Now, once you get this thing up and running, essentially what you're going to have here is a video that's playing on the background and you can actually get it to loop. So this is the, one of the videos that we have going on right now. Currently, I have three different videos live streaming. So let me show you how this program works. So OBS, uh, Open Broadcaster Software, you can download for free for Windows or for Mac. Just go, just type in OBS and you'll find this and just click download. Once you download that program, it's gonna open up and it's gonna look, um, it's actually gonna look like this. So when you see it, I actually like to change mine to studio mode so I can see what's actually broadcasting on this side. So once I have OBS downloaded, I'll create a scene, which I just click on this button to create a scene. And this button right here is just a text thing. Again, I just click on this button right here to add one. And I can add these different, um, different media sources, image if you wanna do an image. You can add text over top of it, or you can even do just audio. But for this video, what I want to show you is how we do a media source file that's already on my computer. So I use a local file. I just find that file on my computer, and I even click on loop. So this file is an hour long, and I loop it for every single hour, and it continues to play on my uh, meditation music YouTube channel. So when you click on this loop button, it'll continue to play. So you click OK, and then it, sometimes it takes a second for it to come up here. But what I like to do is I actually like to right click on this video, and then I'll even click fit to screen. So when I click fit to screen, it actually goes all the way out to each side. And again, I sometimes I have to hit enter to get it to broadcast over here. If it doesn't come over here, I just hit this quick uh, transition thing. And when I do that, I slides over and it starts to actually go. So sometimes it's a little buggy. It's just technology. I don't know, you know what it is. It's a free program, so I can't complain too much. Once it's up and running, I've never had a problem with it. So I go to the media source. I find my file. I loop it. I click OK. It comes into here. And then once it's actually on here and it's playing and it loads, it'll come over to this side. So when it comes over to this side, again, I'm already in the studio mode. I can't start streaming it until I go into my settings. I click on stream and then I need a stream key. So I choose my service, my YouTube service. I click on the stream key. When I click on the stream key, it's going to tell me that it needs uh, a code, a source file. So in order to get that file, in order for me to be able to do this right here, what I do is I actually go over to YouTube. Uh, well, I'll show you here. So I go to youtube.com. And while um, it's on youtube.com, I'm going to click on the, I'm going to click on the create a video here. Um, and when it'll come to this screen here, I click on my stream button. So um, I'll show you that while that's loading here, but I'm just going to get this one loading here in the background because I got all these things going on on my computer at the same time. So this right here, when you click on this create button, you're going to get the upload a video like you typically do, or you can click on this go live. When you click on the go live, it's going to bring you to this screen here where you can manage your videos or you can actually click on your stream. When you click on the new stream, you give it a title. For this case, I'm just going to say OBS. You add your description in. You can add your custom thumbnail, and then you can create your stream. When you create the new stream, what happens is it just goes through here. And it gives you a stream key, right? So you copy this stream key right here. You go back to OBS. You paste that stream key in here. You click OK. And then you click Start Streaming. When you click on the Start Streaming, this video that's playing here will start to stream over here. And then from here, you click on this Go Live button when you're ready. So again, all you need just from the top, this is going to be a super fast way to show you what you can do once, once you get spinning it here, is you download OBS. Once you download OBS, you click on the file. Uh, please enter the name of the scene. Once you click on the name of the scene, you choose your media source file right here. You click on the loop button. You go from the loop button 
to your settings. Settings, you click on stream, choose this YouTube service. You need a stream key. You go back to YouTube, you click on the go live, you create your title, you get your stream key right here, you copy it, you paste it right here, you click OK, and then you click start streaming. When you click start streaming, it's not actually going to uh, publish anything. It's going to start to stream the software uh, or the video right here, but it's not actually live on YouTube until you click on the go live button. So once it's you click on the go live button, if you want to end your stream, you can click on end stream right here. So uh, from there, one of the last things that I actually like to do is, uh, sorry, I clicked on a button here, is I actually like to go back to my channel. Um, so when I go back to my channel, I can see all my videos. Again, this is our mind uh, meditation music channel that we're growing by doing some live streams. Uh, it's a brand new channel, so check it out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check this one out if you need help with sleeping music. But on this one right here, I can actually take my live videos, and I can click on it, and I can edit it. So I can go back in, and I can change my title image if I like to. I can change the title video description. I can change so the, the title, the description, the thumbnail, the tags, and I can click Save, and all that stuff will come up and... Uh, and that's it. So if you're looking to um, do some live stream on videos, again, you just need OBS, download OBS, create uh, the new live stream code, add your file in here to the media source, click on loop, uh, add your stream settings into your settings and click on start stream. So I hope this helps you guys out and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video for more informational videos like this to help you with your YouTube journeys, your business journeys, and check out my book, Serve to Win on Amazon.com. That's serve, the number two, win on Amazon.com. Again, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Thanks for watching.